everybody. Ear and eye protection. It's strongly recommended. Got an unusual request that I'm going to fulfill. LME writes, has anyone tried a smaller caliber ball in a rifle by using a very thick patch, like a 45 and a 54? I would think you could stack patches until you get a good seal. I have not tried this, but I can't get it off my mind. <laughs> Well, LME, we're going to do our best to get it off your mind today. We're going to take this 50 caliber Pedersoli flintlock rifle. It's kind of been my go-to gun for uh, abuse over the years. <laughs> and one that I kind of do a lot of this kind of wacky stuff with. And it's held up real well. And we're going to actually do something I don't think I've ever done on this channel before with probably 200 plus videos and shoot paper. Don't like shooting paper, but we're going to do it today just for this experiment. K Wood Gun Makers from Berryville, Arkansas supplied these targets. So thank you very much for those guys for doing that. If you've watched this channel very long, you know I very seldom shoot .490s in the 50 caliber. I usually shoot 480s because I like the plink, don't care about scores that much, and that's why I like those undersized balls. But today we're going to even go smaller than that. We're going to try some 451s. I poured some 451s recently. We're going to go down to ones that use in the 45 caliber, the so 440 balls. Poured a few of those recently. And we're even going to try some of these little bitty 310s in a 50 caliber. I'm about 20 yards away from those paper targets. And every shot today is going to have 50 grains of shoots and 3F in it. 50 grains. Ooh, I don't know if I can do this or not. I'm going to put two, two double patches in here with a .451 ball. Now the good thing about this gun is it's been coned on the end. So I can push it down in to get it started, but can't get it the rest of the way down. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I can. I thought it would be harder than that. .451 ball, double pass with .14 thousandths pillow taking. Let's line her up and see what happens. That second ball was in the block up there on that target, so I'm kind of excited about that. Get us a 440 ball out this time, and we'll take we'll take one, double it over, make two, and double it over to make three. Now, let's go with two for this one. We'll go with three the next one. So two patches, 0.14 thousandths. Stick it round ball down in there, and. Uh, Oh, that went down pretty good. I could probably get three patches on that one. Same target. Let's do it. Not like that, you're not. <laughs> not good. Let's do it. That's kind of cool. I don't like shooting paper, but I do have three of them in the black up there, which is kind of great for me. Yes! Yeah, I am 20 or 25 yards out, so let's try this 440 this time and triple patch this bad boy. One, two, and three. Let's do three of those bad boys. Oh my goodness, that's getting tough. Woo oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 28, 32, 42 thousandths of an inch of patching in there on a .440 ball. <laughs> Let's see what kind of accuracy this thing will have. That is thick, baby. Let's do it. Same target. Ooh, that sounds like a normal muzzle loader. I noticed that one was in the white, about this much over the black. So I guess triple patching does not make it good for accuracy. <laughs> well, what are we gonna try next time? Uh, how about some of the 310 balls? I might have to put four or five patches on them, tighten those up. 
start with three first. One, two, and three of them. Three of them. Put the sprue straight up. Look at that. <laughs> Gosh. It won't take much to push that thing down. So now we have a 310 ball. Normally you're using buckshot in it smooth bore. I got three of those patches, 42 thousandths of an inch. Let's see if we can even hit this target. That thing might sound like a little kid's cap toy gun or something. I don't know. Let's see what it sounds like. And same target. <laughs> can we do that with four patches this time? 56, 56 thousandths of an inch? With a 310 ball? Let's do it. One, two, three, and four. I just the rest of them roll. That little tiny 310 ball. Oh, that thing's tiny. In. That one don't even have a sprue on it. That'll be a good shot. But four. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm glad I got that fiberglass rod. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whew, don't think I'm gonna put five in it. <laughs> Four's plenty. Wow. Let's prime this rascal up and see what happens. Sound like a little squirrel gun going off that time. A double patch of 310 ball. Let's put four more on top of it and see what we could do with that uh, tick up there. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. One, two, three, four. Five of those rascals down in there. That turned a jag over this time, but we get them all down there pretty high. Okay, that's pretty good. Put a little bit of piece of patch on top of it, hold them all in place. And since we all hate ticks here in Kentucky, let's see if we can put all five of them on that tick that are whacking out. A top right corner target. Yeah. Looking right down the middle of the site and boom. Like that tick might live another day. <laughs> One right there. Two. Got one in the eight ring. Three. Like two of them went through up here, I'm guessing. Four or five. Because I don't see any more on it. 75 grains, uh, shoots in 3F. Shoots in 4F in the pan. Six of those 310 balls on double patch. Can we whack out that tick or not? Let's do it. That sounded pretty cool. Well, six of them are scattered all over the place. <laughs> There's one here. Two. Off the paper, three. Down here off the paper's four. There's one in here, two, five. And I don't know where the six of them went. They didn't even hit at all. Not every day you see dune buggies out in the middle of February in Kentucky. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. LME, thanks for the suggestion, buddy. Plenty of holes all over the target. The tick survives, but I believe the, the flea might be a little bit of trouble with those bigger round balls. Thanks for watching this one. I rarely shoot paper. It's a good change of pace. I'm going to put some steel targets back here for a minute and plow them some more. Remember, Jesus does love you. And we'll catch you on the next adventure. Who knows what that will be? So stick around and uh, you'll find out next Sunday. Have a blessed day and we'll catch you next time. <laughs> See you later.